Well, hello everybody. Thanks for watching this video. I got something I'm excited to fish with. Uh, I got some stuff in the mail from a really nice family that sent me a couple packages and some lures. I'm like, I gotta try these out. So today I'm gonna try fishing with lures that I got from the Cozy family. All right, so first off, they sent me a couple of really nice notes, and um, then they sent all these different lures to try out. Uh, let's see here. I like these uh, lizards right here. These are gonna look really cool. Got crawdads, snail hooks, got some uh, hard plastic crankbaits, and I got something in here that when I saw it, I was like, I have to catch a fish on this thing. Check this out. Check out this stick bait. Now I think that's a bait right there. That thing is huge. I'm gonna try wacky rigging that and see if I can catch something with it. Several other soft plastic baits. These lures were sent all the way from Pennsylvania. Thanks so much, McKay, Jace, and especially Brianna. Thanks so much for sending me these lures. Appreciate you following, uh, following me, watching my videos, and thanks for the awesome notes you sent me. Now I'm gonna try to go to a creek and catch some fish on them. All right, I made it to the creek. It's about 20 minutes from my house. I, expect, I plan on maybe fishing a couple hours. I'm starting out with a little lizard. I just got it on jig head. And I got all the other lures in a backpack on my satchel. So I'm gonna get right to it, hopefully catch a bunch of fish. Oh, I got some. Oh, that's a good fish. Nice. Oh, nice. Get over here, get over here. Oh, yes. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know if I was gonna be able to catch any good ones in here or not. I know sometimes they hold up in here. That is a nice bass. I seen it come over and hit the lizard as I was just twitching it through the water. Wow, I've been here like five minutes. Uh, nice largemouth. Look at that healthy guy. Really good fish there. Man, that's a good start. That's a good sign too. Dang! Holy cow! <laughs> I just about got crushed. I heard a crack and a log just fell out of that tree right there, right beside me. Ooh, thank you, Lord. That would have hurt. It's rotten, but man, it was like it splashed me right beside me. Okay, I was trying to change the lure here. Uh, now I need to watch out where uh, trees are falling. All right, let me get this lure on here and keep fishing, I guess. There's another fish. All right, just had to get a different lure on there. I've seen all kinds of panfish, little bluegill. So I threw the little rooster tail on that I was sent and right away caught a fish. So I haven't seen as many bass as I thought, but I've seen a lot of panfish. There's a little fish, nice, nice. There we go, we got another bass. Got him on the rooster tail. Oh, he's a feisty too. All right, hold on. All right, little bass, going back in. Oh yeah, that's what I need right there. Red breast. Man, these guys, whenever they do hit, they are ferocious. All right, rooster tail, doing some work. There we go. Little log jam up here, a little deep hole. Another bluegill, bear that hooked him. Oh, yeah. 
yeah. Another another bluegill. Man, there's so many little bluegill in here. Oh, there we go. All right, well, here's the where the creek merges with another creek. This is where I was wanting to get down to. Fish around this area, then head back up. Oh my, what? Oh wow, that's a good fish on a rooster tail. Oh, don't come off, don't come off. First cast. No way, dude, I'm really, so, oh, come on. I've had too many fish come off recently. I'm taking it easy. I think he's hooked pretty good. Good bass, oh wow, a good bass. These creek bass are so strong too. They don't even have to be much more than a pound and he's a giant. Oh yes, oh man, he's healthy. The little rooster tail. Thanks guys. Really appreciate y'all sending me these lures. It's the first time I've ever been down to this area. New spot, hoping to catch a good fish, and I did. All right, look at that bass. Little little uh, silver rooster tail. Caught that guy. We're gonna have to weigh him. He's pretty chunky. I gotta see what this guy weighs. All right, what do you think it is? 2.2 pounds. That's awesome. 2.18 pounds. So just just over two pounds. He's not the longest fish in the world, but he was strong and he sure, sure is healthy. What an awesome two pounder off a of rooster tail. Just doing a little creek fishing. Let's let him go right here and we'll keep on casting around. <laughs> Get over there. Get over there. Get in there. There he goes. Oh my God. There he goes. All right, look at that. That's a nice bass. I'll catch it. That's a nice bass for me to catch any day. Love finding those in creeks like this though. All right, so right here, I had a little bit of audio problem. I changed my battery, put a new battery in, and then my audio didn't work with the microphone. So I'm gonna talk you through the next few fish I caught because I couldn't leave these fish out. Right here, this is like my fifth or sixth cast after I just caught that nice bass. And watch what hits this lure as I'm reeling it in. Same rooster tail, casting in the same exact oh, oh, area. Another another good fish. I hook up on another good fish. I, I was I like, I wow, this is coming out of the same log Dude. and everything. That's crazy. And um, this fish oh, felt man. a little bit stronger. It's the only other thing I've but seen. But wait till I get I it in and we're gonna take a better look at it. It's probably 20 casts later. No way, this is insane. You think I get used to catching Yeah, it fights really strong. Every time I catch one, I get it over here on the bank. It's hooked in the lip, <laughs> just like the other one was. Eat in there, buddy. It's full of strength and power. And what's really weird is, is when I review it and look at it, Sure, it man, looks exactly the like the fish I just there. caught, like to the, the T. So I'm like, all right, let me go ahead and put it on the scale on the just side. to see what it weighs. Hook them over there. Looks just like that one I just caught. Now it's right at the same. It may be the same bag. It weighs almost the it same amount. The My scale may have been a little bit different, amount, but so. it was pretty close to the same amount of weight. That was the same bag hitting it again. <laughs> man, he's hungry. He's eating everything. If it was the same bass, just I've never everything. seen a bass hit a lure like that twice and within like three minutes. Right log, but if right it was right a different right. one, there's a couple of chunks sure bass, just living under that log. So um, I went through the rooster tail around for a little bit more. Um, I just want to try it out oh, and oh, before no. I switch to a different lure. And I caught what? this little yeah, guy. He was a nice little largemouth. I think he hit at it and I hit a tree and then it hit back in the water and, and got him. So this this one right here was on the same spot too. This log right here. Kind of could be hanging up under there. He also came out of the same area right under that log, which is which is kind of weird. I just walked up on the spot, started casting, 
caught three fish out from under this log. So I tried the wacky rig, the big old uh, um, stick bait. I wanted to try it out. I didn't have a lot of time, but I cast it around for 15 or 20 minutes around this whole area. Didn't get a bite. Switched to another lure, cast around, didn't get a bite. Switched to a little um, jerk bait and started heading back upstream. First cast in the creek as I'm going upstream. I think it was a red breast. Yep, a red breast sunfish. Um, it just hammered that little thing, so I decided, well, I gotta head back up anyway, so let's go to my nephew's birthday party. So I'm gonna just stick with using the jerk bait, cast it around a few more times on the way up, maybe catch one or two more fish, and I just give it a try with that. Almost back up to where I started. I stand back, notice how far back I'm standing on this one. Whenever you walk up to a deep hole, especially in creeks that are, water's two, three feet deep, the fish are gonna be able to see you very easy. And they're always in there, most time they're there. in there looking for stuff. Cast step back, and, and this fish just comes up and fish, hammers it. Another little, up. I think this was a large mouth. Um, can't remember if it was a large mouth or a spotted bass. But um, it's the same place where I caught the first fish. bass. So this little deep hole right here really holds some good fish. Um, for most of the creek was just a few inches deep. I was like, I need to catch one more fish. And I was really liking the jerk bait. It, the fish were really hitting it. A lot of sunfish were attacking it. And I uh, went upstream just a little bit further to see if I can find one more deep hole. Oh. Of course, I found another deep oh, hole and I found another fish. Jerk bait. He's trying to get away. Spotted bass. That's why it's so strong. This fish wasn't much bigger than the last one, but right, so much stronger. It was a spotted bass. Stream, just a little bit. I love catching spotted bass in creeks. They're so strong. Um, a lot of the creeks I fish don't have smallmouth. Smallmouth are really strong fish. Spotted bass are so strong too. And especially when they're big and healthy and they live in these creeks, they're used to, I guess, surviving in the rough waters and uh, just attacking and, and eating a lot. So they're a feisty little fish. And he had trouble getting back in there too. But uh, yeah, I had to include these fish, even though my audio was messed up, I had to get these fish in there. And well, I'm glad I returned in one piece. Uh, that log, real, literally, I heard it crackling, and um, I was messing with the lure, and I was like, where's that at? It was way up high. And I turned, as I was turning, it fell like three feet from me, splashed in the water, and just sprayed my whole body. And before I had time to th turn around or step aside or anything, so uh, that, was, that was pretty ex interesting, exciting, and just one of those things that you never know what could happen, so you need to be careful out there. But once again, I just want to say thank you so much from the Cozy family. Sounds like y'all are raising your kids right. I um, appreciate the things y'all saying and the, and the letters. Uh, it really means a lot to me. I'm glad I was able to catch some fish. I'm going to use that big one. I'm going to try and catch a fish on it again. Uh, I have to go somewhere where there's some big fish for that, but that was pretty exciting. So thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Now I got to get to a birthday party.